And if I have an opinion or a view on a product and I tell you it's a bad product or I tell you I don't like the product, it's not going to change because you want to send a horde of trolls that whine about it. So you have come this far and still you understand nothing. There is an obvious reason why I added a second disclaimer, because this video is very important, and also very serious. So let's just get back on topic. Golly, you would think that my first response video of Quattrum TV didn't get that much attention, but apparently it did. It became one of my popular videos on this channel and I was like, why the hell not? Might as well give it a try once again. But speaking of Quattrum TV, he has come back, but he still plays the victim card when he made a video titled Quattrum TV is under attack by the Great Value Avengers. Serious? So once again, we had to be as creative just like our first response of Quattrum TV. But only this time, we had to do something a little retro to say the least. Now, with that being said, let's have some fun. That's disturbing. So as of late, a lot of fake accounts have been making a lot of uh, posts as me, and I predict it'll get worse. Now, these accounts are being taken as factually words that I've said and statements that I've said. So I'm just kind of here to let you guys know that people that hate me will absolutely say whatever they want. And again, it probably is going to get worse because nobody cares about checking where this stuff came from. Even if you are the real victim of the fake impersonator accounts on YouTube, what makes you think you have any right to false DMCA strike against anyone who are critical of you? And trust me, this is not the first time I tackled impersonator accounts before. This isn't anything new to me. And what about these homophobic tweets you made before you decide to nuke it because if you you do realize that once you do that, people are becoming more curious about these tweets. It's called the Streisand effect. You cannot escape from it. And the difference is, you did not apologize to any of these homophobic tweets. Meanwhile, Funga Plays and the Ackman, fully, fully aware of those tweets, and took amends and apologized to all the homophobic tweets. That's the major difference between you and Actman and Vanga Plays. You on the other hand would just continue playing the victim. That's all there is, but let's just continue. And so as a result, I've been getting a barrage of hate comments from, of course, public opinion based off of these people that seem to want to run with fake comments. Oh, for you. Quantum TV has received so many hate comments. It hurts. It hurts. You're on the internet, my dude. Not everyone is going to like your content. You gotta expect someone who just didn't like your content sometimes. Trust me, it happened to me once, but you don't hear me crying. Also, have you heard of the term don't feed the trolls? Because apparently you're feeding them way too much attention already. That's how they got into your skin. Or to your fucking feelings in the first place. It's nothing new, really. Also, some of these comments that you showcase are not even hate comments. Take a look at the screenshot you showed us again. Some of these are just votes. And answering your vote saying... Who, what do you rooting for? And that guy just answered Actman. 
I guess he's rooting for Ackman. Apparently, rooting for Ackman counts as a hateful comment now. Oh no! He voted for Ackman! Please, go hide! Like, oh my god, dude. Are you serious? And some of these are not even trolls comment. They're not even hateful comments. Look again. Some of these are constructive criticism. I guess constructive criticism counts as a hateful comment now. Like, honestly, if you truly think that criticism counts as a hate comment, here's my word of advice for you. <clears throat> Grow a thicker skin! You're right, you know. You need to have tougher skin. Now, the people who are behind this know full and well what they're doing, and they know the kind of damage that it can cause when you cause rumors. I really don't think those are really rumors at all. I think that's mostly due to the fact that you make these videos in public, not to mention the screenshots they show. So how are they rumors at that point? But sure, go off, queen. I want you to pay attention to how easily they fall for all of the fake correspondence. It's not hard to see that this is somebody trolling, but this is how it happens. This is how rumors become fact in the minds of the uneducated. You're bullying me because you're I'm black. There ain't no way, Gigi. No way. I didn't do that. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. He did. Dude. No. <laughs> I, I fucking predicted that like a couple of months ago. Boy. You might have the race card, but I have Exodia. Leave the race card comment, it's fake. Alright, oh well. If it's a fake account, I'm back. I'll double check that. Yeah, double check that. Alright, in fairness, that one is fake. I'll give you that one quantum. Yeah, I'll ban that account door. Oh, okay. So yeah. that wasn't him. Yeah. That said you're bullying me because I'm black. In fairness, guys, that was... That's that was not him. Yeah, okay. that, that was him. Once again, and I had to repeat myself once again, how are they rumors if they were public knowledge at this point? Jesus Christ. Also, that clip doesn't really prove anything that they're spreading rumors. If anything, they're trying to get rid of the impersonator account of you. If anything, you should be grateful instead of making a response video and making a fool of yourself. I would say go touch some grass, but that is completely an understatement of the century. Notice how easily fooled they are. One side of my face and my name, and that's all it takes to become the person saying whatever it is that they want to claim that I'm saying. And this isn't the only time in the stream it happened. It happened multiple times, but just to kind of establish what I'm talking about, I'll show you one more example. You can hunt for the rest in their two-hour stream if you decide, but you are going to get a clear idea as to what's going on here after this next clip. You know I'm mad that I put actual facts about everything. The game is trash. Oh man, another okay. fake account. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how many people do we, we can't do it if you just joined the call. <laughs> like, exactly. Why would anyone want to impersonate him? It's fucking funny. You are made of stupid. Quatrum, you cannot be this dense. The Ackman is willing to talk to you through a Discord call, but you simply refuse. How the hell are you still denying this? I swear, you're over 9,000 negatives of self-awareness. Now, I know there's a minute left before the video's finished, but I don't think I can continue this any further because I had just had enough of this fucking cancer. And I know what Quatrum TV is watching and he'll say, You took my words out of context! Out of context! Like. Bruh, even if I provide more context, you're just gonna threaten me with a false DMCA strike, just like you did with Mischief. So don't give me that bullshit of you took my words out of context bullshit. Jesus Christ, which one is it, Quatrum? Is it, 
Is it taking words out of context was unfair? Or are you trying to falsely DMCA strike me if I provide full context? That's the situation you forced me to put in. God damn you! But let's just move on to more serious topic. And you thought it couldn't get worse. Unfortunately, it gets so much worse. Worse. Much worse. Remember the Actman I mentioned earlier in this video, right? Well, he made a video about the worst hot Elden Ring hot takes. Which I do recommend, by the way. But uh, apparently, Quatrum TV got so triggered that he tried to false flag Actman's videos. Yes, you heard that correctly. He got so butthurt over a response video that the Actman made. Wow. Luckily, YouTube knows what the fair use are. So, yeah. Get fucked, man. Oh no, it gets even worse than the last. And you thought it was bad? Well, he tried to basically call the act man's mother. What? What the fuck? Yes, you heard that correctly. He somehow got into the act man's mother's phone number and personal information. Which, by the way, is a cyber-stalking behavior, by the way. And Ackman already made a tweet about this situation, so I might as well have to read it out. I can confirm that Quatron TV is threatening me and my family with doxing and violence, even reaching out to my mother saying, we wouldn't want families to get hurt or involved in this. I wish I was fucking joking, if I see you, Quatrum, we shoot on sight. And I personally don't blame him at this point, because this is why we have the Second Amendment, which is self-defense, which is part of one of the constitutions, by the way. But do you, what do you think Quatrum TV did next? Did he just, I don't know, try to apologize for, for doxing or something like that? Nope! Apparently, he made a third response, accusing the Ackman to threaten to murder him. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Now, I will admit that the last part of the tweet was he could have worded better, but every normal person would probably understand what he meant is that if he ever trespass the Atman's territory or his property, he will probably defend himself. That's the whole point of the Second Amendment. But apparently, Quatrum TV doesn't know that because he's trying to paint the Atman as some kind of a violent criminal. You know, that was an obvious slander, if you catch my drift. So, yeah. Quatrum TV, you're an unhinged fuck. End of story. I really hope Ackman will probably win the court case because at the end of the day, his videos is still under fair use just like mine. Well, actually, it was far better videos than I made, apparently, because his videos is well edited, I must say. So, um, yeah. That is pretty much a response of Quatrum TV. Until something crazy happens, this will be my last response of Quatrum TV. And I know you're all thinking, Luez, that was your say. How the hell are we supposed to put more context in there? You could put more context. I wish I could, but Share Factory can be a little bitch sometimes. Trust me, I tried. But, with that being said, I think that will be enough responding for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. 
because I make gameplay content more often, that much is obvious, and I'll put in memes every now and then, but overall, I make Let's Plays for the most part on my main channel. And stay tuned for my live stream of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix for the level 99 run. I was currently level 72, so yeah, after this video, I'll probably plan to live stream that game again. So if you're interested in any Kingdom Hearts content on this channel, so yeah, I guess that'll be it. Goodbye. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Thank you.